All right, guys, so have you ever had one of those moments when you caught a glimpse of your pee and thought there was something totally different about it? Almost as if someone dropped a laundry detergent inside it, it appeared foaming. Well, today in this video, we are going to talk about the five possible causes of foaming urine and what it could mean for your health. All right, the first reason is that you could have something called proteinuria, which is basically a word for too much protein in urine. Now, just think of your kidney as a super efficient system. Under normal circumstances, the kidney do not permit protein from your blood to pass through and end up in your urine. But in a case where you have kidney problem, where you have kidney damage, let's say the part of the kidney that is responsible for this filtration process, these proteins are going to start making their way into the urine. And because of the chemical nature of protein, was they interact with your urine, that is going to create bubble. So proteinuria is actually a symptom, not a condition. It's a symptom of kidney problem, okay? So if you are experiencing this consistently, you may actually have to visit your doctor. Now, the second possible cause of foaming urine is actually dehydration. Imagine walking all day under the sun, maybe at the beach, in your garden, or hiking, forgetting to drink water. And by the time you get home and finally get to use the bathroom, you may actually notice some changes in your urine. It may appear much darker and more foamier than usual. So dehydration can cause you to have a foamy urine. By increasing your hydration level, that can help overcome this problem. But if nothing happens, you may also visit your doctor, okay? All right, number three is if you have autoimmune diseases. Some autoimmune disorders like lupus can cause you to have foamy urine. That's because when you have lupus, lupus can actually create inflammation in your kidney. It can create scarring in your small blood vessels that is responsible for this filtration. And again, this can result in proteinuria. So autoimmune diseases like lupus can cause you to have an foamy urine. And then number four is the speed of urination. Have you ever opened a tap of water and because of the speed and the pressure that the water is using to come out, that it starts to foam? Well, sometimes you could have a foamy urine, not actually because you are sick or you have condition. Sometimes it could be affected by the pressure and how far your urine has to travel before hitting the sink, before hitting the toilet. And the reason number five is the long-term use of certain over-the-counter medications like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Using these drugs for an extended period of time can actually trigger some allergic reaction in your kidneys that can cause you to have a proteinuria, okay? So these are the five main possible causes of foaming urine. And uh, it is very important that whenever you are experiencing this consistently, you always report to your doctor, consult with your doctor for proper diagnosis, okay? Thanks for watching.